Hi there, it's Dave Hepworth, and I'm here to cover with you the Ruckus Smart Wi-Fi Unleashed configuration videos. So, we talked earlier in a previous video about the Ruckus Unleashed product and how it's a controller solution from Ruckus Wireless. And in the upcoming videos, we're just going to quickly go through how easy it is and simple it is to control the master AP and the remaining access points to connect to the controller solution. Okay. So we've unboxed our Ruckus access point, and we've got maybe one or two or 10 or 15 access points. But please note, when you're first configuring Ruckus Unleashed, the first step we need to do is to make sure that we set the primary or master AP first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the primary AP, we're gonna make sure it's got power, and then when the AP actually powers on, it's gonna receive an IP address from either your DHCP on your router or DHCP server internally, or you may have set one manually, but it needs to be able to get an IP address. And at that point, when it's configured, and it has picked up an IP address, it will advertise a SSID called Configure Me, and then part of the SSID will be the access point's MAC address. And all we need to do is connect to that SSID to start the configuration of the master access point. So in this video, we're going to quickly cover how to configure the master access point so then we have a single controller running on an access point. So we've got a controllerless solution that we can then connect other access points to. Okay, so we're now connected to the configure me SSID. So all we need to do now is open up a web browser. So for this example, I'm using Chrome and we need to enter the following URL to be able to reach the management portal. Once you've entered unleash.ruckuswires.com, you'll be redirected to the management portal. Now, depending on what browser you're using, you'll get a, a variety of different types of warning messages. But you know to ignore this warning message, and we're actually going to try and advance and go on to get to the management portal. So you'll be given an option, what would you like to do? Either create a new Unleash network or join a Ruckus Cloud as a Cloud Managed AP. We're going to create a new Unleash network, so we're going to click Start. And if you want to see the AP info before you do start the process, you can click on the arrow here and you'll see the access point info. Click Start. And then you'll be given a page which is saying that the AP is going to be configured as an Unleashed master access point. So now the master access point is configured and you get the message of Unleash Master is now configured. Please ensure you're still connected to the SSID Configure Me and then click Next. So all you do is just make sure you're connected to the SSID, which we are, we're still connected. And then we go to Next. So now we're gonna do the system setup. So we keep the system name the same, which is Ruckus Unleashed. And from here we get the country code. So we're in the UK, so we'll select UK. Then we look at the management IP and make sure that we've got the correct management IP. You can do it dynamically via DHCP, or at this point you can stat statically set it manually. So on step three is the wireless LAN, and from here we can start configuring the SSID, which all APs will connect to, and which we will connect to, to get to the actual controller set on the AP. So we'll leave it Ruckus Wireless 1, and we'll just give it a password, a password 1, and then we'll click Next. And then for the admin, we need to make it so we can log in to the controller and start configuring the SSIDs that we want for our network and configuring some of the features. We we'll click next, we we'll review, and at that point we just review the system name, country code, IP mode, management IP, the name of the wireless LAN that we're going to connect to, the admin username, and the admin password. We can select show password, so it will show us the password. Might want to make a note, and we can look that mesh is disabled. Now we didn't use mesh networking in this example. There will be future videos showing how mesh works, and that's obviously taking control of the point-to-point -point connections rather than using cables and power for every AP. And then we've got the system time, which will be connected or set by the PC. And then we just click finish. Okay, after a few minutes, you'll get the congratulations message, and Unleash Master is now configured. So in a few easy minutes, what we've gone from is unboxing the AP, doing some basic configuration, and now we've got an Unleashed Master AP. So we can connect additional APs, and we can start configuring APs from one central place. Okay, so now we can see the SSID that we created earlier. We connect to the SSID, which we're already connected to. And then we go to the Ruckus Unleashed admin portal. And there you have it, we've now created a master AP